Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joe Cranin. If you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea, it's likely you've also been prescribed a CPAP machine by your doctor. Of course, it's natural to wonder how these machines work and how they specifically treat your sleep apnea. So let's chat about the various components of CPAP therapy and how they work together to improve nighttime breathing for people with sleep apnea. Before we discuss how these machines work, let's talk about what sleep apnea actually is. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder that causes repetitive episodes of impaired breathing while asleep. There are three cardinal symptoms to look out for with obstructive sleep apnea. The first is habitual snoring. This is characterized by snoring that occurs the majority of the nights in a week. Second, there's what's called witnessed apneas, which is when your bed partner hears you stop breathing. And third, waking up feeling like you're gasping or choking. People with sleep apnea can even experience these episodes more than 100 times an hour. If left untreated, sleep apnea and the poor sleep quality it causes can take a major toll on your physical and mental health. There are three types of sleep apnea. The most common type is obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA. It's caused by muscles relaxing in the back of your throat, which narrows your airway and reduces the space for air to pass through. The second type is called central sleep apnea, or CSA. This occurs when your brain doesn't communicate properly with the muscles that control your breathing. So CSA is essentially a neurological problem as opposed to an anatomical one like OSA. There's also a third kind of sleep apnea, which has features of OSA and CSA called complex or mixed sleep apnea. While CSA is less common than both mixed and OSA, CPAP can be used to treat all three types of sleep apnea. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. Let's break that down a bit. A CPAP device uses pressurized air to splint the airway open. Continuous means it's the same pressure when you breathe in as when you breathe out. Positive means it's going down your airway. What all this means is that CPAP therapy takes air from your bedroom, compresses it, and delivers it to the back of your throat where it splints it open. Think about this like inflating a flat tire. With obstructive sleep apnea, you have a narrow airway, so the machine is opening that passage, which allows air to flow through it more effectively. So now we know the basics of how CPAP therapy works, but there's more to it than just the CPAP machine. CPAP therapy consists of three major components. As we mentioned, the CPAP machine draws in air and pressurizes it to a level set by your doctor. There is also your CPAP mask, which fits over or under your nose and or mouth, creating a tight seal that prevents the air from leaking out of the system. And finally, your CPAP hose connects the CPAP machine to your mask. Air enters the hose and travels directly into your breathing passages. There are different types of machines, masks and hoses to choose from, and your home medical equipment specialist can help you pick out the right CPAP components based on your diagnosis. So now that we know how your CPAP machine and equipment work, how does all of this treat obstructive sleep apnea? Well, the pressurized air that CPAP therapy delivers helps to widen the throat, promote stronger airflow, and improve breathing for people with obstructive sleep apnea. Since CPAP involves air with a pressure set specifically for your body, your doctor will determine how much pressure is needed to expand your airway without causing pain, discomfort, and other issues. Generally, people with milder sleep apnea need less pressure than those with more severe sleep apnea. The machine is calibrated to only deliver pressure at the level your doctor prescribes. You shouldn't try to change the pressure setting yourself because CPAP at the wrong pressure can cause problems and actually make your sleep apnea worse in some cases. So hopefully we've cleared the air about how CPAP therapy helps treat sleep apnea. Keep in mind, CPAP doesn't work for everyone and there are other treatment options available. Your doctor can point you toward the best treatment plan for you. But the bottom line is, if you have sleep apnea or you think you might have sleep apnea, you should speak to a doctor as soon as possible. To learn more, head on over to sleepapnea.org. And if you want to learn more about CPAP equipment, especially when it comes to choosing the right mask, we've got a video all about that right here. Thanks for watching.